Hi, welcome to the Black Fly Lounge. I'm your host, Clark Camolo. And tonight we are particularly honored to welcome Mads Tolling and his quartet. Mads is a two-time Grammy Award winner, and we're really honored to that these guys have made time in their busy touring schedule to stop here in Manchester and play for us. The house is full. We've got a lot of musicians that know about these guys. It's going to be very exciting. Without further ado, Mads Tolling and his quartet.
Thank you so much. So I just want to let you know who's up here playing with me. Uh, Dan Feisley on the bass. Give him a hand. Thank you. And the drums, Eric Garland. On guitar, one and only Mike Abraham. That was a piece I wrote. I dedicated it after something sweet, which is very nice. A dessert that I had in when I was in Denmark, lived in Denmark. Um, I just decided to call this one Danish Dessert. And uh, we'd like to move on with another piece called uh, Blue Monk, composed by the great pianist Thelonious Monk. Thank you. 
Wow, wasn't that fantastic? I guess it's not too hard to see why Mads has got two Grammys under his belt. Right now, I'm going to ask him to come over here and join me, and we're going to ask him a few questions. Come on down, Mads. Thank you, Clark. Thanks for joining us at the Black Fly Lounge. You bet, you bet. Have a seat. Thank you. So, where are you from? I'm originally from Copenhagen, Denmark. Oh, so hence the, uh, the unique name. That's right, yeah, Mads. A lot of people think it's Mads. It's just Mads. <laughs> Mads. Yeah. Excellent. I, I got to tell you, your music has just blown me away. It's just absolutely fantastic. We're really honored to have you here at the Black Fly Lounge. Just uh, let's just freeform here. Where, uh, where are you going tomorrow? Well, tomorrow we're actually uh, just taking a day off. Oh, which good. Is lovely. Um, and you've been on ready the road to... for how long? We actually came here straight from uh, San Francisco, where we all reside, um, and uh, the four of us, the quartet, Mass Tolling Quartet. And um, we're actually just taking a day off, maybe going skiing if we feel up for it. And then uh, we're heading down to D.C., where we're playing a wonderful jazz club called the Blues Alley. And we're also playing at the Danish Society, George Mason University. So we got a few things down there before we head back home to California. Well, I know it was uh, tough to squeeze you in. I really appreciate you guys taking the time to come down here and, oh, uh, and, and sure. grace us with your music. It's been fabulous. How long have you been playing? I started playing when I was six years old. Oh. Uh, I played with, with the Suzuki method. You know, I, you know, as I like to say, I heard a voice whisper in my ear and saying, Matt, why don't you play the violin? And that was my mom. And she basically got me started on, right. on the violin and um, practiced with me on the piano every morning. And, uh, you know, I progressed with the classical music first. And then after a while, I kind of got attracted to the dark side, meaning <laughs> rock and roll, jazz, jazz, bluegrass, really more jazz mm -hmm. in the beginning, you know, like Miles Davis and uh, John Coltrane and Charlie Parker and all these great jazz musicians, great improvisers. And then I uh, eventually I wanted to pursue my dream, which was always to go to America and study jazz, where in the home country, in the birth country of jazz. And uh, so I went to Berklee College of Music in Boston, not too far from here, and studied there about nine years ago. And right after my studies, I was very fortunate. I got great recommendations from my professor to join Turtle Island Quartet, which is a great um, oh, sure. string quartet. And actually, that's how I won my two Grammys, was oh. with Turtle Island Quartet. Oh, okay. um, and uh, I've been part of that group for over six years now. And that's also uh, coming out of San Francisco. So, mm -hmm. so many reasons for me to move to, to the Bay Area right. back then, about six years ago. So you've got a lot, it sounds like you've got a lot of different irons in the fire. That's, that's right, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So uh, what's been your highlight, I mean, uh, for you personally, uh, on a personal level with your music? Yeah, there, it, then highlight is right now, you know, being here with you guys and, and, and playing for you. Um, and um, I've had some great moments. Uh, certainly my first professional tour, uh, I actually played with Stanley Clark, the amazing bass player from Return to Forever. And uh, I remember one of my first tours, we actually played the Hollywood Bowl and the Concord Pavilion, these uh, 10,000 seat arenas. And that was, you know, it was a huge rush to be in front of that many people when you're that young yes. and, and see, and that really gets you excited, you know. And, uh, and, and f on another note, I mean, I love also reaching out to young kids. We've done a couple of workshops here in Manchester and uh, at the Mabel St Street School and, the, and in Long Trail School. And just, you know, seeing their faces and them recognizing all these different styles because we do like to integrate a lot of styles. I heard some styles really here. fabulous feedback about what you did over there. And uh, as you can see, I mean, there's a lot of musicians that have uh, come down here to the studio today because of you, you and your quartet. We're really excited. Um, I guess it's probably time to let you go play some more music. And uh, we'll get back to it. Thanks for coming to the Black Fly Lounge. I'm here with Mads Tolling, and uh, give them all a big hand when. We'll see you later. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Mike. Thank you.
We'd like to continue with a piece by a, another bass player, um, and that's actually Nils Henning Austin Peterson, and really he was more the arranger of this piece. And this is a Danish folk song, made a beautiful version with Oscar Peterson on uh, the piano, and we'd like to now play this piece for you. It's called I Skovens Dybe Stille Ro, and translated that would be In the Peaceful Forest. Thank you. 
like to continue with playing a piece by, from our brand new album, The Playmaker. And this one, uh, there's a lot of makers in this album, by the way. This one is called The Risk Taker, actually dedicated to LeBron James, one of the fine athletes. And the album is also about connecting music with sports and the ability to work as a team. So here we go, The Risk Taker. Thank you. 
you. Thank you. Eric Garland on the drums. Dan Feisley on the bass. Mike Abraham on the guitar. Thank you. Match Tolling Quartet. Thank you.
Wow, what a show down here at the Black Fly Lounge. We're so honored to have had Mads Tolling and his quartet. Can't wait for you guys to come down here and see some of the other shows that we do. Until next time, I'm Clark Camolo, and this is the Black Fly Lounge. <laughs>